Some of man's greatest works have stemmed from the Romantic period. Despite its distance in time from us, we can learn much about the period through the artwork that stemmed from it. Aristotle puts this idea into words. The aim of art is to represent not the outward appearance of things, but their inner significance. In the painting Mount Etna by Thomas Cole, he gives the viewer visual examples of nature's power trampling that of man. At first glance, the painting portrays a peaceful nature scene that is rolling hills, a massive mountain, and a shepherd to name a few parts. But as we ponder the relationship between the different features of the painting, we realize that there are several meanings to the various po postures, juxtapositions, and appearances of the painting's focuses. First is the obvious majesty and grandeur of the mountain in the background. Height and hulk is often associated with strength and power, so the height of the mountain compared to the surrounding landscape expresses a sense of superiority of nature to its surroundings. The low rolling hills and mists covering the mountain add to the sense of vastness of Mother Nature. The mountain top is set on fairly monotonous sky, making it the dominating feature in the background. It draws your eye to the distant peaks set far above the ground. The second focus is the ruins located toward the bottom right of the painting. The once proud structures are now in heaps of cracked stones strewn over the hillside. They represent man's attempt to resist nature by building protections against her elements. Despite being made out of stone, they have fallen useless, are in various states, of degrading. Another example of this idea is the cascade of water over the stone aqueduct. This is, this is a testament to show how, eventually, nature's forces will overcome the efforts mankind has made in an attempt to tame her. By failing to do the very basic job of channeling water and collapsing, the aqueduct is a direct example of eventual reclamation of property by natural forces. Finally, the last notable aspect of this paper is the shepherd located in the foreground of, this, of the scene. He is calmly sitting while his sheep wander away. The posture and direction that the shepherd in it has an important meaning. The fact that his back is turned and he is occupied with other things in the opposite direction of the ruins shows how easily a man can lose interest in his own schemes and plans. In the time that the man becomes engrossed in whatever his focus is, his sheep have wandered off providing another example of man's inability to control nature. Although man is a part of the natural order of the world, he won't always necessarily be at the top of the order. This is shown by the various features of Thomas Cole's Mount Etna painting, such as the mountain in the background, the state of the ruined aqueduct, and the man. All these combined portray the relationship between man and the world he lives in, dominated by nature.